Hey, what up, you guys? So today I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you. Um, this is like a vanity mirror, I guess. <laughs> and it came out so cool. I really love it. Um, if you guys want to see how I created this, just keep on watching. I actually got inspired um, on this photo on Pinterest, as you can see here. So I decided to create it myself using Dollar Tree items. So I had this candlestick that I already had on hand, but Dollar Tree does carry it. Um, I also purchased this garland, skeleton garland, and I just popped off the skulls on there. And I don't know what that is, but yep. Yeah. <laughs> then I picked up this mirror from Dollar Tree as well. They have other ones, like ones that are a lot plainer, but I like this one because it had like, it has some like, you know, design, and I like that. And I also had these flowers on hand that my mom had given me some craft items a while back, and that was in the stash, so I decided to use those. And I also already had this on hand, um, some black spray paint, I think it's like a matte finish, and some wire cutters or scissors, hot glue gun, and this floral foam that I had from a previous project, and you're just going to need a piece of that. Um... And what I decided to do was just take the mirror and insert it into the foam. And then I just basically cut around it. Um, and then I'm... Okay, here is... It's not the best, you guys. Like, you guys can do it a lot better than I did. But um, I just was just, like, carving down the sides to make it as even as I could possibly make it. And then I'm just going to add some of this glue that I didn't show you in the beginning. And I'm also going to use some hot glue as well so it won't fall and come apart. I'm sorry if I sound weird, guys. I'm getting over a cold. So, yeah. And then I don't suggest you do what I'm doing right now, like cleaning it off with your fingers because I burned the crap out of my fingers. But um, I didn't want it to be oozing out as much on the side. So just be a little bit neater with that. And then... I added some more hot glue and a lot on the back just to secure it. I wish I would have tilted the mirror a little bit back. Um, I just felt like it was a little too forward, if that makes any sense. It's hard to explain when I do voiceovers. Okay, then you're just going to chop off the little piece that's holding the skull and then take off all the skulls. And then now I'm just playing around with it. So guys, um, you're going to see some mistakes I've done. Uh, I hot glue these on and then I didn't like the way it turned out because the skulls faces were facing like down and I didn't want it to face so much down. I wanted the faces to look forward. So what I wind up doing is cutting here. You could see I'm cutting that one it has like a little hole in the back. So I just like cut an X and just made it a little bit hollow as you can see there and then I put some hot glue I do remove the other two that are there but you'll see that in just a second so you see how the faces are facing down I'm sorry if I'm not in frame guys but um so I decided to just pop them off remove the glue and then cut like I did before to the other one and then I'm just going to cover the mirror. You don't see this here, but I do cover the mirror with some um, tape so I can spray paint the whole thing. And I also spray paint the florals as well. Okay, so here, as you can see, everything is spray painted. Um, and I spray painted the flowers as well with a few coats. Now, I do suggest you getting that. I don't know what it's called, but it's the spray paint. It's like a clear spray paint, I guess, that adheres the black spray paint so it won't get scuffed up and stuff like that. Because you're going to see in a, in a little bit that I messed up and I, like, scratched one of the skulls head and like you saw the white. So then I have to take it outside and just give it another coat or so. So I got this ribbon from my friend Rachel from Friend Mail and I decided to use some of it to cover the foam. And I made a little bow as you can see there. And then I just placed the flowers around and the skull, the other skull that I had left, I put it in the center right there. And then I added the, okay, so here I'm 
upset because I scuffed it with my nail, I think. So I took it outside. I wound up spray painting it. So I do suggest to get that spray paint. If you guys know what, what it is, just leave it down in the comment box below because I don't know what it's called. But this is how it turned out. It came out super pretty. Um, in the photo, it's like a grayish blackish, but this is what I had on hand, black spray paint. So I just used what I had. And I like that it wasn't a shiny finish. So yeah, super cute, super affordable. Let me know let me know what you guys think about this. I had so much fun creating it. Um, you can use it to put your makeup on. Um, I just love skulls. So if you guys want to see that reef onto the side, I made that last year and I'll leave it at the end of the video and down in the description box below. This is all Dollar Tree items that you see here except the mirror um, that everything is on but like all the makeup everything that you see is from Dollar Tree all right you guys I really hope you liked this video and if you did give me a thumbs up share this video if you like leave me some comments down below because I love talking to you guys down there and I'll see you guys next time bye